Let's make this simple. Think about safety. That's your first priority in any vehicle. If engaging four-wheel drive will improve the safety, then it's time to do it. Let's say, for example, you're going down to do some off-roading and you arrive at the dirt stretch before getting to your destination. That's the time to engage four-wheel drive. Why? You don't need it. You don't need four-wheel drive on a, on a gravel road. But the safety implications of applying four-wheel drive are significant. The reason why traveling on a dirt road you use four-wheel drive is because of that event that you are not expecting. The truck that comes in the opposite direction and forces you off the road. With four-wheel drive you have so much control that engaging it increases the safety. For those vehicles with so-called permanent four-wheel drive, what you need to do at that point is engage true four-wheel drive. You lock that center differential. Without the center differential locked, you are not in four-wheel drive. Don't be fooled by the expression permanent four-wheel drive. Let's look at how this all works. This Land Rover Defender has full-time four-wheel drive. During off-road driving, it's quite common that one or more wheels leave the ground, like here. If this vehicle is in four-wheel drive, then why does it stop if just one wheel leaves the ground? It's because of its differentials. They allow the wheels to rotate at different speeds. There's one between the left and right wheels, front and back, and on this type of transmission, there's also one in the middle between the front and rear prop shafts. True off-road vehicles are equipped with the ability to lock this center differential. And when it's done, it means that the power is equally split between front and back axles. In this case, by locking it, the rear axle is being driven again, pulling the vehicle out of its predicament. The vehicle is now in true four-wheel drive. This proves that a full-time four-wheel drive vehicle with its center differential unlocked is not in four-wheel drive and therefore the safety advantages of four-wheel drive are just not there. It is important though, when returning to a firm surface, the center differential must be unlocked or in the case of part-time four-wheel drive vehicles, the vehicle returned to two-wheel drive. The additional tire wear and the additional wear on the transmission is so negligible and the increase and improvement in safety is so significant there really is no debate here. So many accidents occur on dirt roads because of an emergency lane change or change in direction, an animal appears from the bush or there's sudden need to swerve the vehicle. Now at the skid pan at Juratec what we're going to do is simulate exactly that. Here 40 to 50 kilometers an hour is equivalent to about 80 or 90 on a dirt road. Now we're going to drive it in two-wheel drive and do exactly that, an emergency change in direction in two-wheel drive. And then we're going to do it in four-wheel drive and you'll see a remarkable difference. And hopefully this will demonstrate to you there is, that there is a real re reason for engaging four-wheel drive when you're on a gravel road.
two-wheel drive, after initially stabilizing the vehicle, the trailer behaved like a wild snake. It rapidly became dangerous as the speed increased. Four-wheel drive, however, tamed it completely. So, most importantly, four-wheel drive should be considered a safety tool first.